you know, when the Nintendo Switch 2 is finally revealed, it's gonna make me wonder what new Nintendo Switch games Nintendo has been cooking up. Like, what Legend of Zelda games are we gonna get? What about Super Mario Bros, smaller IPs like Bayonetta, or even ones that haven't received much love from Nintendo like Star Fox? Or I mean, heck, maybe we can even get Capcom to make another beautiful Joe. Overall, I think it's gonna be pretty exciting for Nintendo and the new generation on the Switch 2. Which, by the way, which ones are you looking forward to on the Nintendo Switch 2? Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the RoboChan Show, where we take the gaming news format that channels like Spawn with our Arlo do, add a dash of animation, and some cool editing on top to bring you your gaming news, leaks, and rumors in a fresh new way. If you're new here and want to be kept up on everything gaming, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy the video and dislike if not. In this video, we are going to talk about some new Nintendo Switch leaks that have sprouted up that have to do with the Nintendo Switch 2, how it hints at other aspects of the Nintendo Switch 2 when it comes to power, and overall what these new Nintendo Switch leaks are. As always guys, remember these could end up being fake, that's always a possibility when talking about these things, so be careful on 100% believing these. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, it helps the video reach more viewers when you do, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is RoboRob93. Without further delay, let's get on to the topics. So the Nintendo Switch 2 rumors, leaks, and updates are starting to flood the internet once again, and at this point I don't think it's going to stop, specifically because every day we get closer and closer to the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal, more and more are going to appear. So make sure you have that bell on so you can get updated on those on my channel. And to be honest, I think once that floodgate opens, when the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal date happens and we see what this device is, I think the rumors, leaks, and updates are going to ramp up even more. Which for people who enjoy talking and listening to this kind of thing is really great. Now, now, the Nintendo Switch 2 has been doing really, really great these past eight years with Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Then you have Super Mario Odyssey, Bayonetta 3 was pretty good, a remaster of A Thousand Year Door, Super Mario RPG, Mario Wonder was pretty fantastic as well, and there were just so many other great Nintendo Switch games. And we have been having a blast on the Nintendo Switch, but now I think the wait is here for the Nintendo Switch 2, and I think we are all ready for the Nintendo Switch 2. The time when this reveal is going to happen for the system to give us access to the details. So some details that may have been leaked according to this recent leak. And this leak may give us hints on how powerful the Nintendo Switch 2 is, what kind of form factor it's going to be, and just overall some details of the Nintendo Switch 2. One thing that I think a lot of people are wondering is how powerful is the Nintendo Switch 2 going to be, right? There are rumors that it's 4K, it has DLSS, and a couple other things here and there. And even if it isn't 4K, we can pretty much guess that it's going to be more powerful than the current Nintendo Switch in some way, shape, or form, right? I mean, I would assume so. There has to be a reason to upgrade over the current Nintendo the switches otherwise there's just no point point. and one of those points might be specifically when it comes to the cooling system according to this new nintendo switch leak on family board quote customs data from june 2024 mentions that there is a fan inside of the dock they also have other details as well customs data from june 2024 mentions a 60 watt ac adapter from delta electronics slash energy the supplier of nintendo switch's family ac adapter which supports usb power delivery now these two things in mind the ac adapter and the fan got me to wondering why you would need these or how they would play in to the Nintendo Switch more specifically. If they can give us any hints on how powerful the machine is and why you would need a fan. I mean, I know why you would need a fan, but you guys get what I mean. So I did some searching to see if this could indicate the power of the Nintendo Switch. And here's what I found. On the PC side of things, when you have a higher end PC or just a more powerful PC, your PC needs a higher wattage power supply. What this tells us about the Nintendo Switch 2 having a fan inside of its dock could lead us to the conclusion that the Nintendo Switch 2 is a pretty big bump over the original Nintendo Switch if it needs a 60 watt adapter and also a fan in the dock. Keep in mind, the original Nintendo Switch doesn't have a fan in the dock and the supply adapter for it itself is a mere 18 watts. Though keep in mind that the Nintendo Switch can accept higher wattage when it comes to different power adapters, up to 39 watts. Which makes a lot of sense, the original Nintendo Switch isn't really the most powerful machine around, so you don't really need too much of a high wattage when it comes to your power supply. Now a website that goes by the name Anon Tech did some testing on the original Nintendo Switch, and this is what they found when it comes to power consumption. After letting the Switch discharge, the power numbers of operating the Switch while it's turned on and charging are not 
not all too different from earlier when the console was docked. With the brightness at maximum, to give us the Switch's maximum power draw undocked, the Switch draws 16.1 watts in this scenario, throwing on the Joy-Cons adds another 1.6 watts, bringing in the total to 17.7 watts. This is the single highest power draw that I recorded, and it's interesting to note that this still is a hair under 18 watt limit on the dock, indicating just how accurate the value is. Finally, sleeping the Switch to let it charge is identical to its power consumption while docked. The Switch will draw 9.8 watts to charge itself in 12.1 watts with the Joy-Cons attached. Turning the Switch's power off entirely does change the charging rate a bit, but not significantly. It goes from 9.8 watts to 10.6 watts. Now keep in mind, the charger in the Nintendo Switch that comes with the original Nintendo Switch is 18 watts. If it is coming with a 60 watt charger, that's a pretty significant jump over the one that comes with the original Nintendo Switch. With this, you can assume that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to draw a lot more power than the original Nintendo Switch, and why would you be drawing more power? Well, because the system is more powerful. And I'm going to assume when you're going through these various form factors, because the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be similar to the Nintendo Switch, the original one. And what's crazy here is that there's a fan in the dock as well. The only reason why you would need a fan in the dock is to expel heat and cool down the system while it's in docked mode, right? Add that with the wattage of the adapter and you can pretty much paint a picture that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be a pretty powerful system for a handheld. But I think the question a lot of people are wondering is how powerful is this? Are the rumors that it's going to be doing 4K actually real? Is it going to be able to do 60 FPS or is it just going to be 1440p? Is it going to be 10 and What is it going to be? Well, to compare this to the Steam Deck, especially when it comes to the adapter, that adapter is 45 watts compared to the Nintendo Switch 2's 60 watts, according to this Nintendo Switch leak anyways. So the question has to be asked, is the Nintendo Switch 2 more powerful than the Steam Deck? To be honest, I don't think it's going to be. I think there is a good possibility that it could be as powerful. Is it going to be able to do 4K? Possibly with the dock. If the dock does give it more power, enough to push it to that 4K, and that's why you need the fan inside it, I can see that happening. And keep in mind, there was some murmurings about the system being as powerful as the Steam Deck very recently, actually. So you pair this with the fan inside of the dock, which the original Nintendo Switch doesn't have, and also the wattage of the adapter, which means that it could potentially, and I want to stress potentially, point towards the power of the Nintendo Switch 2, or at the very least, how much power it's consuming, which I mean, why would that be happening? Unless they just made a really crappy system that consumes a lot of power, I would assume it's because of the power of the actual system. Then the Nintendo Switch 2 could be pretty powerful, and I think Nintendo needs to do this. Because keep in mind, one of the big problems with the Wii U, and we don't want another Wii U situation here, is that they didn't have a lot of concurrent games releasing, whether that be first party or third party. Now, of course, they could always reduce the graphics to put them on the Nintendo Switch, but that's not always going to happen, and a lot of players do want better performance. I think as a Nintendo Switch install base, we don't need 4K. Personally, I don't need 4K. It's more of like a cherry on top of a Sunday. It's nice to have, but it's not going to make me not like the Sunday, if you know what I mean. As long as the performance is there, as long as that clear picture is there, I am completely fine. Another thing I think they need to do is market the system well as well. Give us a reason why we should be picking up the Nintendo Switch 2. That was another problem with the Wii U, is that they didn't really market it too well to the install base. If you guys remember, a lot of people thought it was an add-on to the Wii. If you talk to certain people nowadays, some people didn't even realize it released. It didn't really sell too much. Which now I think would be crazy is if the Nintendo Switch 2 actually ends up selling more than the lifetime sales of the Nintendo Wii U. That would just be insane. And honestly, probably will happen. But yeah, I think this is pretty interesting. It could point to the power of the Nintendo Switch 2, or it could not. You never really know. Again, this could not happen. It could not be a 60 watt charger. There could be no fan in the dock, and it could not do 4K. Honestly, I have a feeling it's not going to do 4K. I think it's going to be a higher resolution, of course, and I think when you put it in the dock, there's going to be a clear difference, but I have a hard time believing that Nintendo is going to be doing 4K. I mean, it would be nice to have 4K on the Nintendo Switch, especially when it comes to, let's say, the next Zelda game or the next Mario game or the next uh, Beautiful Joe game. I mean, I, I would really like a new Beautiful Joe. That's not Nintendo. I just want a Beautiful Joe game. Maybe Game Freak can get their act together and make their resolutions not look like they're back on the PS1 when pigs fly, right? But overall, very interesting stuff. Make sure you guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want a 4K Nintendo Switch? Would you buy a 4K Nintendo Switch? And if it is 4K, how much are you willing to pay for that? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're
you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys and remember stay safe, stay charged and have a good one.